Dear Jolly Beans, It has been a year since we took the leap of faith of moving from the UK to Guernsey, and I would say it was one of the best decisions we ever made. We have settled really well in the island. We managed to find a house that's 15 minutes walk from the hospital. It's a newly built house and has modern furnishings and appliances. What I like the most though of this house is that I can watch the sky all day, see the stars and moon at night. Sometimes I could catch birds and planes flying by. And since we're only renting this place, we decided to buy lesser stuffs at home and adopt a minimalist kind of lifestyle. Walks from the hospital to our house is what I like the most. It's magical, very soothing, and very healing. It was not difficult to adjust to my new workplace too. My colleagues are nice and supportive of me as a newbie and I felt welcomed by everybody. I've been to a lot of study days which I find really helpful with my practice and just a couple of months back, I was entrusted to supervise a student nurse which is the first of me too. I am happy to see that our unit is growing and there's a strong Filipino community that we have built. Currently, there are 12 Pinoys in the unit which makes it more fun. I have to say though that I appreciate our managers and team leaders so much. They really ensure that every shift is not hard for everybody. They make sure that you get help where needed and most importantly that everybody get to have their breaks or a breather when necessary. I know that a lot of you are curious of the pay and how much we are getting and yes, I get paid more than before even if I don't do extra shift. I am also thankful that as of today, our 12% pay rise has been added to our pay. Amazing. BFF is happy here too. He initially worked in the hospital kitchen and now he is going to start a new job in one of the major banks in the world. He now has lots of friends and enjoys doing music so much. After three years of working from home, I sense that BFF is much happier to work with people personally. His character shines the most when he is surrounded by amazing people. Oftentimes, I would refer him as Mr. Congeniality as he greets every Pinoy we see in the island, which I truly appreciate about him. A lot of you were asking me if I would recommend about moving here in Guernsey, and my answer is, this island is not for everybody, just like any other places. It would really depend on your personality, your character, your hobbies, and the why to your move. So I would recommend instead to try and visit the island for a day or two and see for yourself, especially if you're that curious. Apart from it being one of the safest places to live, this island is charming and will surely captivate the heart of somebody longing for healing and refuge. All year round, the ocean sparkles and no matter what the season is, flowers are blooming, birds are singing, and the people are kind. As to me, I know that God brought us here for a purpose, and for the first year, He showed us how to live in peace and contentment. Sure, we don't have everything, and we still crave fancy things, and yet, we are at peace and satisfied with what we currently have. God also taught us the power of surrendering, and how we should lift up our anxieties, fears, our plans, and future projects to Him that if we trust his will, nothing and no one can ever stop it from coming true. And if our prayers are not answered in the way we wanted it to be, to believe that he is up to something greater and better. I may sound bragging, but we are just able to live in pure abundance of God's provision. We always got food, got clothes on, bought things we only dreamed of having before, and the era of living paycheck to paycheck is finally over all possible by the grace and glory of God. What started as a simple question of, what if we move to Guernsey? Turn to Salamat Lord for guiding us to Guernsey, as it changed our lives for the better. Just a secret between us, Shelly, means this very moment, this place, this life, was the exact prayer I asked God when I was a struggling nurse back home in the Philippines. 
And later yet I know that God slowly paved the way to this very exact moment. He made it all happen. I'm excited for the years to come and what we can accomplish. Love, Joy G.